Hey everyone, Storm Street Meteorologist Jason Myers here. It is Monday, July 14th. That is Bastille Day for all of our French viewers. Everyone else, it's the French equivalent of Independence Day. Anyway, severe weather today, covering a large area of the country. Yesterday and the day before over the weekend, we saw a little bit of severe weather, especially yesterday. Getting right to it, check this out. Uh, this is Saturday. A little bit of wind reports in northern Illinois, one tornado in uh, Colorado, and really, all in all, a pretty quiet day Saturday. Sunday got a little busier, especially from Ohio through Pennsylvania and New York into Maryland. Saw a lot of wind reports, 87 all said and done. A couple of tornado reports, one in Wyoming, one in Nebraska. And I got to tell you, worse than the severe weather this weekend were the lightning strikes. 12 people in two days struck by lightning. Two of them died. Just a uh, thunderstorms don't necessarily have to be severe to be deadly. So uh, keep that in mind whenever you see or hear some of those thunderstorms nearby. Here's the risk for severe weather today, spanning from, well, Arkansas all the way through Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, eastern Pennsylvania, and the New England states, even into the Ohio Valley. Biggest risk is going to be wind. We also have a small risk right along the Montana-Idaho border. They can see some wind there as well. And then that wind threat uh, spans the entire part of the country that is under that slight risk. Hail is also a small possibility, just a uh, looks like 5% risk from the Ohio Valley back through Colorado, and then a little bit better risk for hail uh, in parts of Idaho and Montana. Tornado risk, pretty slim, just a 2% chance, and really that just spans from uh, looks like Maryland up through uh, Connecticut right there into parts of eastern Pennsylvania. Not really a big threat. One other thing I want to say about this slight risk in Idaho and Montana, been very dry there lately in those thunderstorms. If the lightning hits some of that dry, tender vegetation, we could see some, uh, there's a risk for wildfires there today. So keep a lookout for that. Why are we seeing this severe weather? Well, it has to do with the upper airflow. We have a big trough digging uh, into the uh, eastern half of the United States. You see those wind markers that are turning those shades of pink and red. We know that means those are the stronger winds. And out ahead of it, we're getting a lot of thunderstorm development. And that's what we can expect today. That's why those winds could be so bad during today's severe thunderstorms. And that's because those upper level winds are what's uh, driving that. Here are the forecast models and rain showers this morning. Doesn't look like these are going to be the severe showers necessarily, at least this morning. But as we progress through the rest of the day and head into the afternoon, those showers and storms continue to move east. And look, we have more development in parts of Missouri and uh, Illinois right there. Heading later into the evening, more development from Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky. Looks like uh, Western Virginia as well as West Virginia and into Maryland and Pennsylvania. So these storms, more than likely, the severe weather is going to happen late in the day. This is, uh, this is 8 o'clock Eastern time right now, and you'll see a lot of that thunderstorm development really occurring late in the day and late into the evening hours. So good thing to have Storm Shield handy and close by because if you do go to bed and a severe storm is moving through, well, It'll help to wake you up and uh, you can be safe and get to safety before that severe weather strikes. Be safe today. That risk for severe weather spanning from Missouri all the way to the East Coast. And it looks like a wind is going to be that biggest threat. So be safe. I will see you next time.